the preeminent novelist of our time, Kurt Vonnegut. Do you really know the answers to everything? What would you like to know? Well, I'd... He's been the most profound influence in my life. I think he's the funniest person alive. <laughs> I was 23 when I first approached him about making this film. I became obsessed. What high school kid isn't going to gobble this up? He thinks what I think about the world. Then there was a letter. Dear Robert Whitey. Holy crap, it's him. I was always filming on and off with him over the years. Just thinking, you know, I'll figure this out later. Are we going? Yeah, yeah. We would talk about almost anything. Now, what are my books about? He was opening up about his childhood. Ten years old, I pointed up and said, there is Trout Famador. His experience in Dresden. We all came out and the city was gone. We've become friends. If you find your life tangled up with somebody else's, that person may be a member of your caress. But no matter how much time I put in, I never finish the film. Hi, Bob. I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. The author, Kurt Vonnegut, has died. So it goes. Kurt told me once, we don't understand the first thing about time. This is how he experienced life. When you take almost 40 years to make a film, you owe some kind of an explanation. Billy Pilgrim has come unstuck in time. What happens when a writer stops writing? Sadness is an interesting emotion. I prefer laughter to crying. <laughs> Vonnegut shows that it's not the end. It's the journey. Let's see, the impermanence of life. This day is as real as any day we're going to live. When things are going sweetly, please pause and say, if this isn't nice, what is? Hi, Bob, this is Kurt. I want to thank you for your friendship. Up here in Aspen. What's it? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs>